In this video, we'll be discussing a few more companies or institutions that offer internship and attachment application online. Hey, how are you doing? Welcome to this video and this channel. And the first institution or company that I want us to discuss is Kemsa. So let us now go ahead and check the Kemsa website. I've typed uh, Kemsa careers on my uh, search bar. And as you can see, this is the official Kemsa website. So you have always to check whether uh, the website that you are in is the official website. So all you need is uh, to scroll down here and there's a uh, and there's this attachment application form that you can fill online. So the first thing you need to fill in is your institution. And then your name, date of birth, your ID card number, uh, your agenda. Here you also need to fill in your KRA pin. You also need to have a certificate of good conduct. So these are requirement for KEMSA in attachment application. Then you need to fill your uh, address and postal code, your email address, your mobile phone number, your home county, and all other these details. I'm not sure whether this site is currently uh, open for application, but hey, there's nothing wrong in trying. All you do is to fill a few details and then upload a few documents. Then you need to fill in your academic or professional qualifications. That will depend if you are applying for an internship or you are applying for an attachment. So here you fill the, the examination board, the institution or the university, the year of graduation if you are graduated, or the class or your grade. If you are applying for your attachment, probably you only have one load to fill. But if you had previously done other short courses, for example, if you did some computer packages, you can fill that in the second row. For KEMSA application, the, the application cockpit is quite simple. As, as compared to KRA and uh, Kenya Power One. So after filling the details, you need here to specify your area of interest. You just type in. All these boxes where you are supposed to fill is just a matter of typing in. For example, your KRA pin, you can just type in. Your number, you can just type in. All of them is just typing in. For example, if from uh, Mombasa, just type there, Mombasa. Now, after filling in your educational qualifications or your professional qualifications, you need upload all the required documents. And they are your curriculum vitae or your CV, a formal written application letter, your university or college certificate or letter of completion if you, are, you want to apply for your internship and you are already done with your studies. Or if you are not done with your studies, you want an attachment. In that case, you need a letter of recommendation from your institution that you are supposed to proceed out for attachment. You need to upload the individual performance transcripts if you're in your module 2 of study or in your third year in the university. At least you have a number of transcripts that you can upload. And as we had said earlier, you need to upload your certificate of good conduct. And at the same time, you need to upload a copy of your KRA pin. So you need to have those documents in readiness. So what you'll be doing, you simply be clicking on this upload button. And there you'll be able to upload your document, depending on where you have stored them in your computer. Then after you have uploaded all your documents, you will now submit the form. So on clicking that button, you submit the form. But I cannot be able to submit the form because I've not filled in these details. The next internship application that I wanted us to discuss is for Camry. If you come to your search bar and type in Camry Careers, you'll be directed to this page. And from this page, you can click on uh, Careers. And the, this page you open, I had already done that. On this page, you can see uh, they have the uh, job posting. There are quite a number of jobs, which I think a uh, good number of them are currently active by the time of making this video. So you can see this, uh, the Camry website is active, especially when it comes to their job posting. They regularly post their job here. So what you do for the uh, attachment application, which I think is also active, you will uh, Click on this link here, Attachment and Internship Application. 
I need through this uh, document that uh, explain the process of attachment and internship application. So they are saying the institute attachment program run on a quarterly basis and the intake are from month of January, April, of course it will be probably January to March and then April, uh, probably to June and then from July to September and then from October to uh, probably December. And then there is something else here you should note. Attachment opportunity shall be offered to bachelor's degree students during their third or fourth year of study. That is, for those who are currently pursuing a four-year degree program, there will be offered attachment opportunities in their third year of study. And for those who are pursuing a five-year degree program, there will be offered attachment opportunities in their uh, fourth year of study. Then for those who are uh, pursuing a three-year diploma, there will be offered attachment opportunities in their second year of study. So Cambly usually offer attachment opportunities one year prior to your year of completion. Students are required to make application at least one month uh, prior to the attachment period by sending a hard copy of the application letter or an email to this email address that is provided here. So if you want to apply for your January attachment, uh, at least by beginning of se at least by December, you should have applied for your attachment with the Camry one month prior to your the period that you want to be attached. If you want to apply from April, at least by uh, beginning of March, you should have applied for your attachment. Probably they need some time for processing the documents. And then here, the document that you are supposed to upload together with the application letter. And then you need to write an application letter or a cover letter which should be addressed to the Director General, Camry, and attention to uh, the training office. When it comes to the uh, uh, internships, currently I don't think there are any internships available because they have not advertised in the website. Because here they are saying internship vacancies. Internship vacancy announcements are circulated on the website and I checked I did not see any uh, advertisement. Ad applications are only received and considered when the advert is posted and is open. So currently I don't think the, um, they are offering any internships at the time of making this video. But it's also worth noting they also offer internship opportunities. Uh, the most important thing for us here is to run various companies that offer internship or attachment application online because applying for internship or attachment online is quite simple you can apply as many as you want because you only need to prepare your document and upload them with to various platforms uh, when various companies open and then if you're lucky to get one of them it will be much easier for you to get that attachment because nowadays it's not as easy to get an attachment especially here in kenya and that's why I've been creating these videos to let you know when various companies offer internship or attachment opportunities so that you do not have to worry so much trying to uh, network with friends and relatives on places where you can get attachment who probably even do not have an idea of the best place they can find you. The best thing is first of all to try these online opportunities and then continue networking with your friends, with your relatives. I think that is it with Camry. But here yeah, they also provided uh, two emails that you may want to use if you have a problem with your application. The other institution that I also wanted to mention is Safaricom. Although Safaricom right now, their website is not open for attachment application, but they also have um, attachment application cockpit or portal. And this way you can and search for various uh, job offers or internship offers that are uh, open so here you can be able to search for various offers that are open but currently uh, i don't think i try to search there is don't think there are any offers that are open for safaricom they usually close the uh, portal around march so probably it is open uh, from somewhere mid february to mid march and they also offer quarterly attachment opportunities such that between march of one year to the March of the following year, they will offer four sessions of attachment or four or quarterly attachment periods. And uh, they attach their website is only open once 
in a year such that you have to make your application depending on which quarter you want to be attached with Safaricom. So that's something else you should note. But I'll be making a video for Safaricom attachment application uh, when the, the portal is open for application. Then another institution I wanted us to mention that you can try to apply for attachments is Kenya Port Authority or KPA. I was trying to check about KPA and I realized uh, KPA had already closed their portal. Uh, let's see. Uh, KPA offers attachments and internships, though their portal usually closes around uh, early November. I didn't realize that in time I could have created a video for KPA attachment and internships. So they also have an online portal for applying for internships and uh, job opportunities. So I think that is it. So let us make use of this. Uh, opportunities and the good thing is some of these companies they pay during their attachment or internships and there's no harm there's nothing to lose in trying uh, to apply for an attachment online actually most of the time I prefer doing a lot of things online because there's actually very little effort involved so that is it remember to subscribe to the channel leave your question in the comments below uh, share the video to family and friends like the video by the way if you usually watch my videos and you do not leave a like i think you really do this channel a lot of injustice liking the video commenting on the video and sharing the video and also watching the video online is one way of improving what we call search engine optimization or seo so that the channel is suggested to more and more young people in kenya because i want young people to realize it's important to have enough information before applying for say a certain course so that you select a course that meets your talent and interest and also i have a lot of mathematics videos that are very very helpful to those who are sitting for mathematics especially those who are pursuing engineering courses you can check some of the videos for mathematics in the link shown here or in the video description here so if you have brothers sisters who are in secondary school or friends who are in secondary school you can tell them to check my YouTube channel for various courses that I make about career guidance. I have videos on engineering courses such as electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, building and construction, IT, uh, food and beverage. What are the requirements of these courses? I also have videos detailed the various mathematics topics in various courses. So that when, for example, you are selecting, you want to make a decision whether to choose electrical or civil, and depending on your potential in mathematics, you can compare the various mathematics topics in electrical, various mathematics topics in civil engineering or building and construction. And then depending on your potential, you can decide which course do I go for. So that's some, those are some of the things that I do. And I really want a lot of people to learn these videos are there so that you can make good use of them, make very good decisions when you're applying for courses. Also, if you have a friend, who got some refund, especially in engineering mathematics, let them know they can use my videos to revise various topics that probably can help them pass the exam. Also, in the near future, I'll be offering online classes, especially for those who got refunds and they're already working, they do not have time to sit around somewhere and revise, probably they have already forgotten the concept. I'll be offering online classes that will really help you to pass your um exams and take advantage of various opportunities that, that are coming every now and then so keep on checking my youtube channel subscribe to the channel keep on checking my facebook page and soon i'll be discussing on how i'll be conducting the online classes especially for those who have refers so that is it i believe i've not wasted your time in this video and certainly not in the next video